Welcome top news today. Donald Trump appears to have revealed just how little he knows about energy and the climate during yet another bizarre press conference, this time with the Norwegian Prime Minister, Erna Solberg. During a QA session he was asked by a reporter what it would take for the United States to remain in the Paris Accord on climate change. The president repeated his claims it treated the US unfairly, and was a bad deal, but did say, we could conceivably go back in. Solberg then took the opportunity to push the virtues of environmentally sound technology but Trump responded with a brusque and bizarre answer. He said, one of the great assets of Norway is a thing called water, they have tremendous hydropower, tremendous. In fact most of your energy is produced by hydro. I wish we'd do some of that. This is the Hoover Dam. Think reaction via Getty Images Not only is it one of the most famous feats of engineering in the US, it also provides 1.3 million Americans with hydroelectric power. In fact hydroelectric power is the sixth largest source of energy in the US and the biggest of the renewables, providing 17% of the country's total need. Trump also referred to wind turbines as windmills, somehow linking it to Hillary Clinton and his election victory which he appears to not have quite gotten over yet. Oh my god. My opponent Hillary was not for a strong military, she was for windmills. Trump just said in a joint press conference with the Norway PM, Tony Webster at Webster January 10, 2018 The term is one he's used often in the past, usually whilst professing a normally absent passion for ornithology. Windmills are the greatest threat in the US to both bald and golden eagles. Media claims fictional global warming is worse. Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump September 9, 2014 Congrats to people of Scotland on the judge's ruling concerning bird-killing, land-destroying, environmentally disastrous windmills. Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump October 4, 2013 Trump also dodged a question on whether or not he would agree to be interviewed as part of the special counsel investigation into alleged Russian meddling in the elections last year. Once again, called the probe a Democrat hoax, adding, for 11 months, we've had this phony cloud over this administration. Norway's Prime Minister also made it a point to note that for her country the environment was a higher priority than corporations' profit margins, which corporate Papa Trump kept bringing up as a reason for ditching the Paris Agreement. HTTPST.clock 71 wjffq 20 Adam Carnot Carnot January 10, 2018 You can watch the whole press conference below.